Hello and welcome back. Um, so today's problem in the house is my Sky receiver is not working properly. I'm only getting certain channels. Um, others are coming up with this warning sign which says I basically lost satellite signal. So let me just show you what's going on. If I go over to services in this and go to settings, I can actually look at the signal coming in. Input one, which is the live receiver, which goes to the television, has no signal. Input two, though, has very strong and good quality signal. Fantastic. However, at the moment I'm on channel five. If I change that to BBC One, give it a moment, the, the, uh, it receives no problem at all. If I go back over to services, go back to settings, have a look at the signal this time, and you'll see that the signal is back again on input one. So what's going on? Well, a satellite transmits on a bunch of frequencies. They're either in the high frequency band or the low frequency band. Secondly, it sends uh, the signal on either vertical polarization or horizontal polarization. And what that kind of means is if you had a rope and you sent a signal this way down the rope, that's vertical polarization. If you send it that way, that's horizontal polarization. The important thing is though, in order for the satellite uh, receiver to receive the certain channel, it has to either switch to the upper frequency band, lower frequency band, or whether it's got to receive on vertical polarization or horizontal polarization. And that means sending signals back to the satellite dish, and it does it in two ways. First of all, it has a DC voltage of 13 volts or 18 volts. If it's 18 volts, it's on vertical polarization. If it's on 13 volts, it's horizontal polarization. To switch it from the upper frequency band to the lower frequency bands, it sends back a 22 kilohertz signal. If the 22 kilohertz signal is there, it's on the high frequency band. If it's not there, it's on the low frequency band. So I've bought myself this little meter. Very cheap, 14 pounds. Honestly, always buy a tool for the job. It makes your life a lot easier. But this will help me to diagnose what's actually going wrong and whether in fact it's the box here or the satellite dish that's actually at fault. So let me show you. Okay, so what I've done then is I've put this meter in line with uh, the first feed that goes into the box. I'm gonna turn down this volume so that, take, turn off the signal so you don't have that whining all the time. Uh, you can see at the moment I've got signal strength. Let's do the same thing again. Let me just explain what the LEDs are. The green ones here is switching of the 22 kilohertz and the red one is switching between the 13 and 18 volts. So if my box is working fine and as I select channels, I would expect those uh, LEDs to change, to switch into four different states. So let's see what happens then. Uh, go back to channel, BBC One, right. So you can see the green switched and I have the uh, 13 volts and the 22 kilohertz is off. Uh, let's change channel again. That should work, nothing changed. Okay, I've gone to ITV1. This time the 22 kilohertz is on and uh, the red one is still on 13 volts. So 22 kilohertz tells me that it's now switched to the uh, high frequency channels. That's channel four, it's back on the low frequency channels, but it's still uh, on vertical polarization. And here we are, channel five, it's switched this time to the horizontal polarization and I get no signal but it's on the low frequency uh, band. So what that tells me is the, uh, the horizontal polarization has failed. But what it also tells me these LEDs is that I'm getting the correct signaling out of my box. So I'm gonna to have to go and fix my satellite dish. 
Okay, what I've done is I've uh, brought my, um, my television over to the patio windows where I can see it from the ladder and that's my satellite dish up there and of course you can use the uh, skybox to uh, looking at the signal strength to align the dish um, easily enough and you don't necessarily need that meter. So uh, we've suffered quite a lot of uh, bad weather recently, very high winds, a lot of rain. In fact, only a few minutes ago, it was snowing here. Um, and just having a look, this is, by the way, this is my new LMB that I've bought for the, uh, the dish. Just having a look at the old one though. And it's fairly evident that there's a problem here. Uh, this cover that should be over the front of the horn is missing. It's disintegrated and fallen off. And also on this side, this bracket has also snapped off as well. And clearly the problem here is that the UV's got to uh, the whole plastic and it's fallen apart. Um, anyway, let's replace it. The um, good news, I think, is that looking at the signals earlier, the dish itself is aligned correctly, even though, and I'll just show you on here, that the... Um, this bubble is slightly off, so this bracket is dropped a little bit, uh, which is not a good thing if you were setting up a dish. You really want it to be uh, uh, horizontally aligned because that way when you should pan the dish, uh, you don't get any elevation element coming in as well when you're aligning it. And at most, I'm going to need to rotate this to align the horizontal and vertical with the um, with the satellite now if you were looking south uh, do you remember the horizontal vertical it would be straight up and across like this but as you look to the east everything twists slightly the angle of view to the satellite so this is why the LMB is very slightly twisted round like that anyway I'm going to power down the box and let's swap out the LMB uh, and wouldn't you know it, it started snowing, so I'm going to make this really, really quick. Um, things I want to know, I'm going to just simply replace the horn on the front here. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the dish at all because it looks as though it's pretty much on. The most I'm going to need to do is slightly rotate uh, the LMB. So what I'm doing is very quickly just measuring the angle there and it says 7.5. That's what I need to match on this one. So let's replace the... Let's replace this. Unscrewing. There's the cables are all off now. Um, to get this off, there's a little uh, plastic plug. I'm going to use a knife. Underneath. Off. Right, here's the new one. That's going to slot on over the top. There we are, it's clipped in. There's a little plastic bit on the side. Push that into the hole to secure it, like that. Um, I can see that the uh, rotation is slightly off here, so putting the cables back in that's number two I'm going to adjust the uh, polarization just loosening off a little bit here that then allows it to rotate using my phone again just using a spirit level on the phone I need very slightly there that should match I'm just going to screw that back up okay let's go and see uh, how that looks on the satellite dish okay so there we are um, having a look uh, again in through the window down there you can see that the signal strength is really solid and high, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm not going to mess about with doing any more alignment. 
Uh, so the final thing is just to check, it is snowing, whether I've got all the channels. Let's go and have a quick look. So recapping then, BBC One worked, Channel 5 didn't. Let's just see what goes on. Uh, go to Channel 1, to BBC One to start with. Boom, there it is. We've got a nice signal and it's locked up. So let's go to Channel 5 uh, like that. And this time, hopefully, boom, there it is. Everything's perfect, so it's working beautifully. Anyway, hopefully you found that uh, video interesting. Um, if it helps you, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, if you like what I do, I just, as you can see, fix things around the house and uh, the cars, the bikes, whatever. Um, give me a thumbs up. Uh, think about subscribing. I put up these occasional videos, but leave me some comments as well because I like to read them. And uh, thank you very much for watching again. Bye for now.